The self-serving bias is like wearing rose-colored glasses when we look at ourselves. It's a tendency we have to see our successes as our own doing and our failures as caused by external factors. In simpler terms, it's when we take credit for the good stuff but blame outside things for the bad stuff. Imagine acing a test. If someone has a self-serving bias, they might say, I did so well because I'm super smart and studied hard. But if they failed, they might say, the test was too hard and the questions were tricky. See the difference? It's about taking credit for success but avoiding blame for failure. This bias pops up in all sorts of situations. Let's say someone gets a promotion at work. If they have a self-serving bias, they might think, I earned this promotion because I'm amazing at my job. But if they don't get the promotion, they might think, the boss doesn't like me. That's why I didn't get it. It's like when a team wins a game. Players might credit their hard work and skills for the victory. But if they lose, they might blame the referee's decisions or claim the other team got lucky. This bias can show up in personal, academic, work, and even social situations. Here's the thing. This bias can affect how we see ourselves and others. When we constantly credit ourselves for the good things, it can make us feel great about ourselves, which is cool. But it might make it harder for us to see where we can improve or learn from our mistakes. On the flip side, blaming external factors for our failures might protect our self-esteem, but it stops us from taking responsibility and growing. The self-serving bias can also impact relationships. Imagine someone always takes credit when things go well, but blames others when things go wrong. It might strain friendships or make teamwork difficult because no one wants to work with someone who always takes the credit but never the blame. It's important to be aware of this bias because it affects how we perceive ourselves and the world around us. Being mindful of it can help us be more fair in evaluating our successes and failures. It's okay to celebrate our victories and recognize our efforts, but it's also important to acknowledge when things don't go as planned and learn from those experiences. In a nutshell, the self-serving bias is like putting on glasses that make us see ourselves in a better light when things go well and deflect responsibility when they don't. Being aware of this bias helps us see a more balanced picture of ourselves and our experiences.